Hello guys and welcome to Snapshot 12W34A. Um, lots of new things this uh, snapshot. Beginning with my armor, I am oh wearing. Okay, wait. Oh shit, yeah. Okay. Um, beginning with my armor, I'm wearing right here. I'm still in game mode. Anyway, um, <laughs> beginning with my armor right here. It is leather armor. But as of now, as of this snapshot, leather armor can be dyed. It's really easy, you just place a bit of your armor together with a dye in a crafting bench and it will be automatically dyed to the thing you made. That makes actually some really cool clothing. Um, over to the next step, there's some decorative blocks added as you can see right here. They gave us flower pots and of course the flowers we can put in them. Then right here we have um, basically fences, but fences with cobblestone and mossy stone, so some kind of wall type, and this is also really cool. Um, basically it's made to make chests and all that stuff, but basically what this does is it is a item frame, and you can place any item in there. For example, I want my baked potato, I right click, my baked potato is gone, but it's put in there. A nice little feature I found with this is a clock. If you put a clock in there, you can actually see the time of the clock and the thing it's turning while it's in there. So you can just place all these things all, all around your bases and um, you will have basically wall clocks. So that's really pretty neat and pretty cool and all that cool stuff. Um, well, this is just for showing um, right here. This is also pretty cool. This is a new vegetable, potatoes. You can basically just plant them by, well, harvesting them and right clicking and then harvesting again and you will get potatoes and right clicking plants them again. You can then cook them to get baked potatoes. Nice. Another plant we have right here is the carrot. That's also a pretty neat thing. You can right click at my harvest, um, replant by right clicking. And I need my game mode back to show what the hell's going on. Game mode one. So basically, you can eat a carrot as you would normally do, but you can also do gold. Um, you can also make golden carrots, yay! And golden carrots are used to make the invisibility potion of uh, a couple of snapshots ago. So um, a golden carrot, yay! Um, Slash game mode zero. Cool. So this is pretty neat. You can eat it, um, and that will give you your food bar replenished. But you can also um, use it with an awkward potion, and that will give you, well, the invisibility potion. And also, a nice little feature I have found is this one. We have a cow. We push the cow into a portal. Cow disappears. Nice. I'm gonna have to go in game mode for the next step of this. A zombie. We push the zombie in the portal. Come on. Yeah, that's a special zombie. Um, skeleton. Skeleton goes. More zombies. They all go. So even creepers go. So that's all neat. And now we can go check. And all the mobs we teleported through will be in the nether. As you can see... Wow, all my mobs are here, and I can actually put them back in, and they will all be teleported to the right spot. So basically, all mobs can now be put into Nether, and all other mobs can be now put into the normal overworld. I think it also works for the end, I'm not sure about that. This is basically the um, special zombie, uh, the villager zombie, which was introduced last snapshot. Um, so that's all pretty neat, cool, fun features, I guess. Um, except, like, um, except... Especially this one with the whole teleporting thing is really interesting because you could just um, use a, a portal and have like your farm, your your zombie farm or your your like I don't know mob farm, and you just teleport your mobs to the other nether, which would well make them unload again, and that way you can have a farm that well doesn't lack a lot. So that's also a pretty cool and neat feature. Wow, lots of features this week. Hope to see you next week. Thanks for watching and a lot of fun with a new snapshot.